and welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off this video by saying I'm sorry. I know the location that I'm filming in right now is very echoey and I'm really hoping that it's not too too bad. I just I had to film in a different place today and this was like the nicest background I could find so I really hope it's not too annoying. Obviously right now I have no lips and that is because I am going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty cream glosses that they just released. So because I am so incredibly smart I forgot to actually read about how much these cost and about all of the claims and stuff so I'm just gonna put a screenshot of all of that right here so you can read it for yourself. It is just a lip gloss that is pigmented and I feel like there's not really too many crazy claims you can make when that is the product that you're selling, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I purchased three shades of this lip gloss and I have the, oh, I dropped one. Sorry about that. The shades that I have are 04 Cookie Jar, 03 Honey Waffles, and 01 Mauve Wives. I did do some swatches of these and I will have them on the screen right now so you can look at what these look like on my skin tone. I tried to get swatches of my skin in different lighting so like more warm tone lighting, cool tone lighting, natural lighting. So I hope that those swatches were helpful. This kind of formula, like a pigmented gloss that doesn't have glitter, that is something that I gravitate to more rather than like a glitter sparkly gloss. So I'm actually kind of excited. All right, so I literally have no plan for this video. I did bring, let me show ya. Wow, that's a great angle. So I did bring some of my favorite lip liners in case I need them. Even if I am just gonna be wearing a gloss on the lips, I do like to line my lips because naturally I do have like a cupid's bow, like my the top of my lips is like, like an M. But once I do put on foundation and concealer around my mouth, I feel like it just gets totally erased, but I do have it. And so I do rely on lip liner to kind of bring that shape back. I think, I think first I'll just go straight in on my lips and then if I need it, I'll use a lip liner. We'll see how this goes. I'm really not sure. Okay, so the first color that I want to try on is the shade Mauve Wives. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the actual name of this product is the Gloss Bomb Cream. But if you just search like Fenty Cream Gloss in Sephora or just like on Google, it'll come up so also i'm sorry i'm getting sidetracked but a lot of the products that i'm wearing on my face right now are fenty beauty so i will link those in the description if you want to check them out as well rihanna honestly why have you not sponsored me yet i'm just i'm just wondering like <laughs> i don't know i'm just kidding i'm just kidding the packaging is exactly the same as the original fenty glosses so it's like the exact same hexagon pentagon hexagon pentagon so it's like the pentagon shape, the glass, I don't know if it's glass, it's like plastic that looks like glass, you know what I mean? And the doe foot is exactly the same Ooh, as the original gloss bombs. Look at that, that looks really pigmented, I'm excited. Okay, I guess we'll just go in and put it on the mouth. This color specifically is the one that I am the most nervous about, so let's see. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this color, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this color on its own is not something that I would use. I feel like it would be really pretty on top of a lipstick, like just in the center of your lips. As an all over gloss on its own, I can't say I'm the biggest fan. It is a thicker formula, but it's not sticky or like gloppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me see if I like spread it out a little bit. I think it's also important to note that as you saw at the beginning of this video, my lips are naturally pigmented. They are, like they're not pink, they lean more like purpley brown. So I guess that will affect the overall color of them. I know some people when they do lip swatches, they use like a concealer or foundation and cancel out their lip color. But I never do that. Like when I wear lipstick on an everyday basis, I don't do that. And I feel like it wouldn't be honest to do that in a lip video at least for me because that's not what i do in my everyday life i hope that made sense but yeah i mean 
I don't hate the color. I just don't like how it looks on its own on my skin tone. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this off, put on some lip liner and try it again and see if it will look a little better. So let me do that. So the liner that I'm going to use is by NYX and this is their suede matte lip liner and I have the shade Los Angeles. This one is just like a true mauve brownie lip liner and I think it'll work really nicely in combination with this lip gloss. So let's give that a shot. Wow, my lips are not in the best condition recently. So. so if the gloss does look a little weird, just know it's not the formula. It's my actual lips underneath that are just so incredibly textured and dry especially this time of year all right so i'm going to take the lip liner like i said this is the shade los angeles from nyx let's see if we can get ourselves a little base so as you can see i didn't like fill in my lips at all i just like literally lined them well that's what lip liner is now i'm going to take some of that same shade mauve wives so let's take that and slap her on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it does look better than when I use the gloss just on its own. I think it also could just be my makeup. My makeup today is very, very warm toned. Like I literally put my blush and my bronzer in my crease and that's the eyeshadow that I have today. So maybe if I like took away my face, the actual color is not bad. I just don't know if it's my favorite color. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I crazy for not being absolutely in love with this color? Let me know. Honestly, I think it would look good if I had a different makeup look on maybe, or if I was wearing like different clothes. I don't know, am I, am I crazy? I think when I do use this again in the future, I'll probably use a really small amount instead of everything that comes off on the doe foot. But you know, overall it's not bad. This specific color, I would probably rate it like a 7 out of 10 for how much I like it on my skin tone. Maybe seven and a half, we'll see. But yes, right here, this is a close-up of how it looks on my skin tone. Okay, so the next color that I wanna try out, this one I'm scared of because I feel like it's, okay, Never mind. I was gonna say, I feel like it's close to my skin color. It's not. This would actually be a really nice nude gloss for somebody who is my skin tone. Like, I feel like the undertones of it are so perfect. I'm literally just staring at myself okay um let's let's put it on <laughs> this is the shade honey waffles this one is like a true mid-tone brown i think this is really pretty it is significantly more warm toned than the previous color so i'll just show you guys them side by side you can see that mauve wives is very cool toned whereas honey waffles is pretty warm so i think i probably will like this color a little more than the last one let's give it a shot i'm probably not going to talk about the formula too much just because it's going to be the same across the board so oh this is a nice doe foot all right so this is what the color looks like just on the doe foot you can see it's actually i was gonna say it is actually glossy but obviously because it's a gloss so why am i surprised that a gloss looks glossy Again, for the first round, I'm not gonna go in with any lip liner. We're just going in raw. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I just went all over my face. All right, that's, that's fine. You can fix that. Okay, okay. Well, okay. All right, so this is what the shade Honey Waffles looks like on its own. I really like this color. Considering that I'm not wearing a lipstick underneath and I don't have any lip liner on, I feel like the color is really, really nice. I feel like it complements my skin tone very well. Because it is a pigmented lip gloss, it's not totally opaque. Like you still can see some of my underlying lip color through it, but I don't mind. I think it actually looks really good. So far, this is the color that I would get the most use out of personally like look at my doesn't it just match me 
I don't know. I really, really do like this color. I feel like this color is going to work for a variety of skin tones because if you are darker than me and you might feel like this color is a little too light, pop on a lip liner, wear a darker lipstick underneath and just put this in like the center of your lips and I feel like it will look really, really good on anyone. Now I'm going to try it with some lip liner. So let me take this off and I will be back. <laughs> So the lip liner that I'm going to use for the shade Honey Waffles and the next shade Cookie Jar is this liner by Annabelle. Um, this is the shade 330 Espresso, so you can tell just by the name. This is like your typical dark brown liner. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on just to give myself some shape. Ooh, this is a dark one. <laughs> That is darker than what I expected, but it's fine. <laughs> what did I do there? Okay, my lip lines are not going to be precise at all, but what else is new? So I'm going to go back in with that shade. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I am going to scrape off the doe foot just a little bit because I feel like you do get a lot of product on the doe foot, which is a good thing, but for me, I just don't need... Like, listen, my lips are small, okay? We can all see it, I don't need to hide it. So I don't need a lot of product to fill them up, you know? So let's take some of that. Ooh, this looks good. I like what I'm seeing so far, but I think it does need to be blended a little bit. So I'm gonna take my finger and just blend it out a tiny bit. Because the lip liner was so dark, it did make the overall lip look darker, but I like this. I like this color a lot. If I had a lip, is there, has there just been a bobby pin hanging here the whole time and nobody was gonna tell me? I am so sorry. If this is your first video that you've ever watched of mine, I'm sorry that you chose the most chaotic one. <laughs> so I forgot the point that I was trying to make, but in general, the shade Honey Waffles, it's a banger. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's take this off and we will get into the last shade that I bought, which is Cookie Jar. So far, what I've noticed is that these are way more pigmented than other pigmented lip glosses that I have tried. Honestly, you guys, sometimes I consider putting in bloopers at the end of my videos because sometimes I have to repeat the same sentence literally four times just for it to come out like grammatically correct. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing the bloopers for my videos because there are a lot. <laughs> okay, so now we are back to my original lip color. Rihanna, can you make a lip gloss that's the exact same color as my lips, please? Some of you might think that's pointless, but to me, that is a very strong point. What am I doing? I don't know. Okay, let's let's get on with the last shade. Um, Like I mentioned, the last shade that I'm gonna talk about today, today, <laughs> okay is the shade 04 cookie jar this color is every girl's winter dream okay <laughs> um this is again like a true brown but it's just slightly deeper than the shade honey waffles so here is a side by side so honey waffles is obviously lighter than cookie jar but it is also more orangey toned whereas cookie jar i feel like has more of a reddish undertone i feel like they would actually complement each other really nicely if you wanted to do just a full gloss lip you could do honey waffles in the center and then cookie jar on the outside i feel like that would be a really cute look maybe we'll try that today who knows all right so i'm gonna open up the cookie jar i'm gonna open up the cookie jar I don't know, is, do people have cookie jars? Maybe it's because I'm in an immigrant household, but we have never had a literal cookie jar before. And I never realized that until right now. This is what it looks like on the doe foot. I don't know if that even tells you anything, but I figured I might as well show you. All right, so let's go in with this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the kind of color I really, really vibe with. I feel like my mom would really like this, and like not in a bad way. Like I feel like this color is like right up her alley. Also, you know what? Let me let me finish applying before I talk. All right, I'm just gonna take my finger and blend it out a tiny bit. So this is the shade Cookie Jar on its own. 
and I love it. I love this. This is actually the most pigmented out of the three of them. I'm not sure if that's just an illusion because it was the darkest one, but from what I can tell, this is the most pigmented one and I have no complaints. I feel like it is not smarter, but I feel like it is better when darker lip products are more pigmented because well, yes, this isn't meant to be like a full coverage lipstick when it comes to darker colors i feel like they do look better when your natural lip color isn't shining through as much and for that reason i think this color is just absolutely beautiful also i think i was definitely right in saying that this is more of a red tone compared to the previous color if i look at the three bottles right here i feel like oh, <laughs> what just happened to my voice um, I feel like obviously this is a mauve, so it is pinky purple, but the undertones are like bluey, like bluey purple. And I think that might be why I'm not the biggest fan of this color. Maybe it's a little too cool tone for what I'm used to, but it is really pretty. And then I feel like Honey Waffles is definitely a super orangey tone. And then Cookie Jar is definitely a red tone. Like you can see on my lips, it's pulling very red, but I don't mind. Okay, so we're gonna wipe this off, put on some lip liner, and then put it back on again. I feel like I'm going crazy wiping off my lips so much. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do that. This color is actually staining just a little bit. Okay, <laughs> wow, the corners of my mouth are just crusty, rusty, dusty. Sorry about that. <laughs> no surprise here, I'm going back in with that same Annabelle lip liner in the shade Espresso. Um, just like I did before, I am going to scrape off some of that excess oh this is very vampy is that the word all right so clearly i'm not the best at application but listen my lips are screaming at me so forgive me okay i know i don't wear a lot of dark lips on my channel but this this is a winning combo okay i really like how that looks like excuse me honestly i feel like i am ready to go and tell someone off like i i want to get on a zoom call and just yell at someone the power of makeup guys <laughs> this color could totally transform any lipstick that you wear under it so let's say you have i don't know like a really nude lip and i feel like if you just touch this on the corners it'll look so pretty what i want to do before i get into some comparisons i am going to try the shade honey waffles just on the center of this shade wow i feel so beautiful right now <laughs> okay that's good i feel like i made a nice little pocket to dive into all right so i'm going to take the lighter shade and we're just gonna like give a little kiss in the center of the lips. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this combination is giving me very much my mom in 2003. This is kind of random, but I feel like everybody's mother at some point was really into like that dark brown lip. Maybe it was just like an early 2000s, 1990s thing, but I know for sure my mom used to love a good dark brown, dark purplish lipstick. And I feel like this is giving me that same vibe and I'm here for it. Like I, I really like this. Yes, yeah, so this is a little close up of what this combination looks like. So something else that I wanted to do in this video was compare the formula and the opacity to other tinted lip glosses that I have. So I have three of them with me today. I have the NYX Butter Gloss. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. That's a very, very long name. And then I have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Don't come for me. Okay, I know these are all basically the same color and I don't want to hear about it. I really don't. I don't need that today. So get out of here with that. Um, what I'm going to do is I guess I'll swatch them each on my arm and we can just see how opaque they are. 
I don't know, this seemed like a good idea in my head last night, so I just wanted to try it. So I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I'm not focusing too much on the shades, more of just the formula itself. But I do have the shade 008 Stone. Alright, so this is the Maybelline right on top. Now I'll take the Wet n Wild. The way that this feels on my lips feels very similar to how the Fenty one feels. So for that reasoning, I wanted to swatch it. I know for a fact that this one is very pigmented because it is a high shine lipstick and not just a lip gloss but the texture is really reminding me of the Fenty ones. So right here we have the Wet n Wild formula and the last lip gloss that I have is the NYX Butter Gloss and I have the shade Praline Praline, I don't know. This one might be a little difficult to swatch because if I remember correctly I am kind of running low but let's try and see what we get um yes i am swatching on my arm hair and if that makes you uncomfortable then you can wax your arm hair but don't worry about mine okay thank you very much so right here we have the nyx gloss i don't know if it's gonna pick up very well on camera but so far the nyx gloss is the least pigmented out of the three and then just for comparison i feel like the closest color i have to these is the shade mauve wives so i'm going to take that and that will be our last swatch here oh that's a big goopy goop all right so this is gonna go right on the bottom oh yeah just get it right right in my arm here love that so just looking at all of the swatches i feel like the least glossy is this one which was the wet and wild which is to be expected because like i said it's not marketed as a gloss but if you do take this out of the equation the other three they're all giving me the same vibes so that would be the Maybelline, the NYX, and the Fenty, they're all giving me the same vibe in terms of how shiny they are. The only other difference I can really see is that the Maybelline gloss seems to be more of a thinner formula compared to the Fenty. Looking at my arm, the NYX and the Fenty in terms of the consistency and the actual glossiness they're giving me the same vibe okay <laughs> i don't think it's going to i don't know what's the word i don't think the message will be delivered the same way on camera but they are giving me the exact same vibes and this is actually kind of funny because the nyx gloss so far has been my favorite gloss of all time that i wear in almost every video and the fact that these are pretty similar is a good thing. It's, it is a good thing for Fenty. It just means that their formula is really good. But if you look at the price, and yes, I am going to be that girl, okay? It's the holiday season. We can't all drop, what is it, like $18 on a lip gloss. If you look at the price, um, I feel like that is just a decision that you'll have to make which one you think is more worth it If I'm just looking at the packaging the so the Fenty gloss has nine milliliters and the NYX gloss has Eight milliliters. So you are getting more in the Fenty than with the NYX But I think this is like double the price of a NYX gloss. So honestly, it's up to you I'm not saying that this isn't worth it, but I am saying that if you Simply cannot afford to splurge on a lip gloss right now, but you do want something You don't have to hurt your bank account and get one of these if you can't do that This will give you a very very similar effect. So that is my conclusion on that rant. <laughs> but overall, you guys, I don't really have anything bad to say. If we go shade by shade, like I said, the first shade, Mauve Wives, I would probably rate it like a seven on my skin tone. The shade, Honey Waffles, I'm excited to try it again. I think right now it's sitting at like a solid 8.5, but I do think I'm gonna have to try it more and just play around with it. And then the shade Cookie Jar is by far my favorite. Um, I think it just looks good. And I also think that there aren't too many dark glosses on the market right now, or in general, just glosses that can be worn on their own on my skin tone or darker. Even myself, like by no means am I the darkest of the dark skin tones. Like I'm not, I consider myself to be medium and then in the summer, like medium dark like teetering on that border and even i sometimes have a hard time finding lip glosses that can be worn on their own on my lips and you know they don't look crazy 
Listen, I've had my fair share of glosses that are too light for me and it looks like, do you know that joke about how if a lipstick is too light for you, you look like you just ate powdered donuts? It's like that, but it's liquid and if it's not the best look in my opinion but i do have to give fenty credit where credit is due i feel like they did an amazing job with this shade range i do only have three of the shades because i cannot buy all of them but the three shades that i did pick i feel like they do represent the range pretty well so really i don't think anybody will have a problem finding a shade that they like in this collection so if you do wanna, you know, buy one for someone's Christmas gift, I don't know when this video will be going up, but I'm hoping it's before Christmas. I feel like it should be easy to find a shade that will suit them. So yeah, I don't know. I think Fenty did a really good job with this shade range compared to other companies that have tinted glosses. For example, with the Maybelline gloss, and this one was the gloss on top. This was one of the darker shades. I think there was only one shade darker than this. And in my opinion, this is still kind of light. While I can wear this color from Maybelline on its own, it's not my favorite to wear on its own. I feel like I do need to have something under it that is slightly darker. Whereas with a shade like Cookie Jar, I really don't need to adjust it in any way to make it fit my skin tone. I'm hoping you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So in that respect, I really do have to applaud Fenty. The shade range of these glosses is so good, so good. And for that reason alone, I would recommend them. But again, just in terms of the formula itself, there's a reason why the Fenty glosses are like a cult favorite. The formula is just good and they smell good. I didn't even talk about that. They have this very, very light vanilla smell. I don't know if it's vanilla, but it's just like a nice sweet smell that is super light. Like for me, like the smell is already gone from my lips. I don't smell it, but when you open up the tube and if you give it a good whiff, it just smells pleasant. So let's just make a quick list of the pros. They smell great. They're very pigmented. There's a huge shade range. The packaging is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The formula is good. Did I already say that? It is just a typical lip gloss formula. If you eat noodle soup, it'll, it'll come off but it's very easy to reapply. I think this is the kind of product that you can reapply without looking. So let's say you are like, you know, when everything opens up again, let's say that you're on a date and your date just went to the bathroom and you wanna to touch up on your gloss, but you don't have a mirror. You can quickly whip this out of your bag, just give yourself two fast wipes and you can pretty much count on it looking good. So yes, overall, do I recommend these glosses? Yes, if you can afford it, yes. If you can afford to spend, what is it, eight dollars on a lip gloss and you want to support Fenty, you want to support the brand, I think they are absolutely great. Like I said earlier though, you can definitely find something similar at the drugstore and in that respect it really is just up to you. But overall, I do like these a lot. And yeah, that is about it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!